right. Factoring means we're taking our original trinomial and we're going to figure out or end up with our final answer that ends up two sets of parentheses. So looking here, we're going to take our same rules that we applied before and we got to figure out a product and a sum. So product is going to be this last term. So I need my product, my multiplication, to be negative 10. And I need my sum to be what's in the middle, positive 9. So I'm going to start with my product. What numbers can I multiply to get to negative 10? I could do 1 and negative 10, or I could do negative 1 and positive 10. I could do 2 and negative 5, or negative 2 and positive 5, and those are my factors. So now I'm going to add them and see which one comes up to be positive 9. So 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9, negative 1 plus 10 is our positive 9. So that's the one I want. The other two would give me negative 3 and positive 3. So now that I've figured out what my two numbers are, Okay, with that positive 9, I could place them in. So I can do negative 1 and positive 10. Put my x, and there we go. Now, if I wanted to keep going, or if I wanted to use the area model to figure this out, what I could end up doing, draw my area model. I'm going to put the first one in my first box, the last one in my bottom corner, and then these two numbers that I split, so negative 1 and positive 10, I would put in with my x's. And it doesn't matter which you put where, it'll all work out at the end.